Hello class, this is a champion. For today's lesson, I want us to look at electronic spreadsheet. After this lesson, I'm expecting you to know what electronic spreadsheet applications are and also how to launch Microsoft Excel on your computer. So let's start. We'll look at what spreadsheet applications are. When you talk of spreadsheet applications, we are referring to applications used for organizing, make analysis, and store data in a tabular form. Spreadsheet applications can be used in performing mathematical calculations on the computer. This application comes in the form of a grid. So when you talk of a spreadsheet applications, the applications that need to be installed on the computer. They are not applications which are part of the operating system. So to have a copy of spreadsheet application running on a computer, we have to get a copy of that program and run on our computers. This program has a different window when it's being launched. When it's launched, each window displays as a table or a grid. So as we can see here, this is how the window of the application comes. When it's being launched on the computer, we have rows in the horizontal direction, then we have columns in the vertical direction. So this is a diagram showing how a spreadsheet application window looks like. Now let's look at some examples of spreadsheet applications. We have visible calculator, we have numbers, Microsoft Excel, Lutos 1, 2, 3. The name Lutos 1, 2, 3 doesn't mean that the software or application is in three phase or three examples. That's the full name. It comes as Lutos 1, 2, 3. Then we have Sheeta or Sheesta. Then we have Quattro Pro. So all these are examples of spreadsheet application and whenever you open these applications as we saw in the earlier uh, diagram it comes in the form of a grid or a table consisting of rows and columns now let's look at how to launch microsoft excel on our computers excel is one of the examples of spreadsheet applications the spreadsheet application as we said earlier on, can be used in performing mathematical calculations. So on our computers, in case we want to perform any mathematical calculation, we can use Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel was developed by Microsoft Corporation. So to learn this application, first we have to click on the Start button on the desktop. The Start button can be located at the left bottom corner on the tax bar of our desktop then after that you click on all programs in the start menu the next step you click on microsoft office folder then the last one you click on microsoft excel when you look at the test step we said you will click on microsoft office folder because excel is a bundle that is found in microsoft office software so it comes with other programs like ms word PowerPoint, Publisher, and the rest. So to learn this application, you follow the same procedure as we use to launch Microsoft Office Word. But at the last step, you have to click on Microsoft Excel. So when this is being launched, this is what we have on our desktop screen. And that's the window of the Excel application. And as you can see, we are having the table over here or the grid over here. The grids are in rows and also we have the columns within or by setting the rows. So this is how the Excel window looks like when it's being launched on the computer. Now let's look at the use of 
Excel or spreadsheet applications. From the definition, we saw some uses of the application. We said it is used to perform mathematical calculations. It is also used to analyze data. But here are some few uses of the application. We have for storing of data, performing mathematical calculations, produce charts, that's either bar charts or pie charts. Then also it can be used for preparing of budgets in businesses. This application is mostly used by companies in preparing their budget since it makes it easier in performing mathematical calculations and also it can be used to analyze data. We will end our lesson here, but before we go, there's an essay that I want you to do it in your books and submit to your website. So we have the first question to be, what is spreadsheet application? So here you just define what a spreadsheet application is. Then two. You give four examples of spreadsheet applications. Then three, you state two uses of spreadsheet applications. So that's all for today. For your next lesson, we'll be looking at the features of MS Excel window. So if you have this application installed on your computer, you can just navigate or go through and see some of the features to make it easier for your next lesson. Thank you.